What's the crack lads? We are back with our second manager and player pack review, this time taking a look at the France Euro 2024 premium pack. Now this is 1500 coins as well, putting it in the same category as Leo Messi's Argentina pack with Scaloni and the boys. And this is the Champs, you get 40,000 points here as well to train your team, as you see there. And of course you're also going to get a selection of players centred around big time Grizzy Griezmann. Now Griezmann lads... I'm going to say it right, I don't usually hype up cards because obviously every card can do a similar job. But Griezmann has definitely been one of the most fun players I've used since I got him. He's absolutely insane, playing way above his stats. He's probably outperforming Messi as well. He's down as a whole player. His booster is Le Petit Prince, attacking awareness, low pass finishing and kicking power. And he's got really nice player skills as well that you can actually train up into be devastating. I mean, long range curler on him. If you want to give him flip flap and soul control, you can do that. He's just got a brilliant, brilliant card, and he's playing insane. It's like that they buffed him no end because of this card, which obviously makes sense because he is just playing way above board, right? Dembele is always good. Shua Mene, Kamavinga. We're going to get into the players that I think you should upgrade. You don't need to upgrade all squads or uh, squad players here if you're not going to be using them. Also, a selling point to this is going to be Didier Deschamps. He has got 88 long ball counters, so it puts him in a little bit more of a category towards Ten Hag. And he gives a plus one speed booster as well. So it's very similar, slightly upgraded from Ten Hag. If you missed out on Ten Hag's booster manager, Deschamps is definitely the main man. Now, if you missed my Argentina pack review, we did have Scaloni who has a double team play style proficiency, possession and quick counter. The Shams only has 88 in long ball counter, so you can't really do sub tactics change in play style, but we're going to show you a couple of tricks to get the best out of the Shams and what a lot of top players will do, right? So that's what you get with that. It's 1500 coins. You're going to get a start in 11 there. It's a very nice squad, man. It definitely is a nice squad. Obviously, 1500 coins can be a lot of coins if you are playing free to play. You probably won't be able to grind that unless, you know, you're going to wait and I mean, this is on for what, 70 days, I think? Yeah, 75 days. So, you know, we'll have reviews on the other player packs as well, which are all 900 coins. So let's get straight into it. We have a squad set up here, and I'm actually going to mix this format up a little bit. We're going to deal with the Champs first before we get into the players I think you should boost up, and a couple of little tips and tricks. So with the Champs here, he's going to be long ball counter. We set our play style to long ball counter. It's going to be 88. That is going to give you the maximum stat boost for a manager that has 88 team play style proficiency, as you see there. You know, Griezmann is going to go to a Messi-esque 104. So he's going to have the same rating as Messi with this build. And I think this is the best build for Griezmann if you're playing him in two positions, either as an AMF or as an SS, similar to Messi. I'm training him and treating him like Messi. They're very similar cards. I think what shades it for Griezmann is the fact that he's a whole player. We'll get into that in a second. But this is a very simple 4-2-1-3 setup, right? We have Kamavinga left back and shoe him in a center back because they are missing obviously there's no other players here now also you will see that we have mbappe up here this is not included in the pack this is a free mbappe that you get everyone will get it from either logging in as presents login bonuses or by playing and completing objectives and the campaigns you also will get hernandez here as well as three other players that are not in this pack so if you want to swap in hernandez here from camavinga and put Cam camavinga or chuamene out here you can do that as well we're just kind of looking at this to have a bit of variety in the squad right but the big thing i think is if you are playing sub tactic with the champs and this is where he gets a little bit of extra points i do feel that you can have a lot of different variety with this french squad i think pound for pound and player for player You've got Mbappe, obviously, who's going to be free, so we'll leave him out for now. You've got a brilliant target man in Giroud, who can do it all. You've got Griezmann, who is probably the best player that they've released in a long, long time. You've got Emery in midfield. You've got Dembele and Kamavinga. Shuamene, fantastic. Obviously, Klaus is a bit of a weak link. Samba's not a brilliant goalkeeper. Up in Meccano, he's prone to a mistake or two. Um, I don't really have him trained up in this, but I've played a lot with Up in Meccano, and mostly cards are around 90% the same, unless they're like a big time and they've got a very unique play style. But that is kind of how we would set it up. Also, with long ball counter, I think it's kind of paramount that you do have a deep line on your defensive player. Now, we're going to go with Fafana here as our defensive midfielder, and also, because we are going to be a little bit more attacking than normal, we're actually probably going to put defensive on Kamavinga as well and that's the tactical setup when you switch to sub tactic here we are probably going to still keep with the long ball but we can change this a little bit we can actually go a little bit more anchoring on Dembele if you want to keep him out wide and of course we can play counter a target here on Griezmann if you want to keep him up or of course on Mbappe if we have Mbappe as a free you will get Mbappe for free I definitely think he complements this team we'll do a review on the free Mbappe and the free French players as well 
Other than that, lads, let's get into the player builds, right? So short and sweet, we have got a couple of good options here. I'm not going to focus too much on up a Mekana, Shuamene, or Samba. You know what you're getting with these. 25 levels for Shuamene, uh, Shuamene. It does hold him back a little bit, but he is an absolute beast anchorman. He, if you don't have Rykard, he is probably up there. Obviously, he's got the height. He's got the long legs. He's a beast. I know people that love this guy, Shuamene, him and Zakaria. Even the GP versions over Rodri and those likes. So I definitely feel that he's just a very simple anchorman to train up. Up in Meccano is your typical destroyer. If you missed the Argentina pack video, we talked about it the same. Any destroyer, lads, get his speed up to 80 or else 85 and the rest into defense and physical contact and jumping and aerial strength. That's all you need to do. It's very easy. And these cards only have 20 levels, so it's not that hard to go wrong with them. Camavinga. So this is definitely a player I think you guys should look at. Very rare to have a box-to-box -box left midfielder or left back that can play left back, center back, or left back DMF and CMF. Sorry, boys. And the brilliant defense stats that you see here. 85 plus aggression with 86. With speed, 86. Acceleration and stamina over 90. Very, very good. Ball control, tight possession, low pass, dribbling, all into the high or low 90s. Very, very nice. And even his stats here, man. He has sliding tackle, interception, and fighting spirit. You throw a blocker on him, and you've got one of the best defensive left backs in the game. That can also, with a sub-tactic... Whoops, I'm after going out of this here. Also, with a sub-tactic, go into a more central position and hover over that line when you go with your sub-tactic if you're chasing the game, or you're trying to just switch things up to confuse your opponent, right? I would say that for everything that you're doing with Kamavinga here as a defensive box-to-box, -box, you're going to flip it for Emery, who's an offensive box-to-box. -box. You're not going to train up anything here. So for Kamavinga's build here, I forgot about that, 04488410. And then for Emery's, we're going to go the attacking option for box-to-box. -box. Both similar play styles, both similar kind of players in terms of what they can do on the pitch technically. But 0-4-9-10-9-0-2, it's going to be a lot of a different build. A very different build for Emery here. He's more of an attacking box-to-box -box midfielder. So in the last video I did of the French pack and the Argentina pack, if I was comparing those, I think Camavinga is more like Enzo Fernandez, whereas Emery is more like DePaul. That's kind of where I would go with it if you want to compare the two of those. And of course, you also have Griezmann here as well, who we're going to train up. Now, lads, this Griezmann... Honestly, man, I've been blown away by him. He's been absolutely insane. I'm not saying that you guys need to go out and get Griezmann and spend a 1,500 coins that he's absolutely meta this, meta that. He's a really fun player to use. His dribbling, his pace, his spacing, excellent. His movement with the AI, exceptional. One of the best players I've used. We used him in a live stream. He was just banging our assistant goals in galore. Um... Very, very solid, very, very nice player. And obviously, if you are going to be training him up, we gave him low lofted, long range curler and weighted pass. I put a bit of time into this card. It's a super card, man. Genuinely, a super, super card. Nice, fast double touch as well. This is the build that we've gone for. Speed 90, acceleration 90. Also with the finishing, it's going to be very high. Shooting 4, passing 4, dribbling 9, 10 for dexterity, 11 for lower body. And then that's it, man. You're going to have 86 low pass, 87 finishing. Attacking awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, stamina, acceleration and speed. All at 90 or more with 88 kicking power. And if you throw a long range curler on him with low lofted pass and weighted pass... You have a perfect whole player that can do it all and still have room to give him ball roll if you really want to give him that. It's an exceptional card, a very, very nice card. And then rounding it off, of course, we do have Dembele. I talked about Garnacho in the last video with the Argentina pack. You're going to get him in the 90s in ball control, dribbling, tight possession, balance, acceleration, and speed. That's all you need for a winger that's not going to be shooting. But he still has 71 finishing. It's more than enough for tap-ins, which is what you need to do with these speedsters. Listen, it's a good card, man. It's a very, very good card. Um, I think this French pack... I think it shades the Argentina pack. I think there's been so many versions of Messi. This Griezmann card, lads, is phenomenal. I was blown away at how good he was moving on the pitch. But, as I said, that's not an endorsement for me to say, you need to go out and get Griezmann. Griezmann's not going to get you Division 1, boys. It's all about your system. I would potentially save up um, for the England pack or maybe the Portuguese pack if you're looking for most bang for your buck. But if you have 1,500 coins... There's about four or five players, Kamavinga, Shuamene, Emery, Griezmann, Giroud and Dembele are all very usable in in-game level squads. If you were just starting off, it's a brilliant base to have Griezmann, who is, I would say, in probably top 10 players in the game right now uh, in terms of his abilities. Maybe I'm overcooking him a little bit, but he was doing unbelievable things for me yesterday on the pitch. And just so simple, brilliant passing. He seemed to be like really buff, so... 
Let me know what you guys think of that review. Let me know if you want another review. We'll probably work through these. Maybe England next. Let me know in the comments below who you want to see next. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you in a bit.